with Reese Witherspoon. Oh my God, do you remember when we went on that trip uh, right after we gave birth a few months yes. later and we were like, okay, let's get the girls together. Let's get out of the house yes. and see the sun. And we went to Mexico. It was so fun. We had so much fun and we needed to get away because I, I also think about the importance of having your um, community of girlfriends to be able to say, I'm exhausted. Can I pass you the baby? Or I'm weaning. How come my hormones are all over the place? And I still think we don't have enough resources for, for women who are going through childbirth and and the, the ups and downs of hormones. I mean, childbirth to menopause, we don't have enough resources, information. Um, and I think my girlfriends have saved my life. I mean, in the sense that I could have never done it without the network of support of other women going, Reese, Ava's supposed to be at school next, <laughs> next Monday. And I'm like, what? Because I, sometimes I'm in the clouds creatively and um, but my girlfriends always keep the trains running and they keep me, you know, safe and sane. I don't know where I would be without my friends. I mean, they were, you know, my family wasn't really there in the beginning, nor, you know, my dad, he took off before I was born. And, um, and I don't have any baggage with him. I was like, okay, incapable person. Like, mm -hmm. I just always really dug him. I was like, you're cool, man, you're cool. Can I say, Drew, it is so incredibly healing that you have always been this incredible, this transparent person, because I think more people have your experience than don't have your experience. And it's incredibly healing to see that not only did you find a way to work through all those things, you found a group of friends that are your family and you have become this incredible mother. Incredible. And I, I think there's a great message out there. And I, I think, if anything, I would just say like, please just always be your open, vulnerable self because your, your story has changed so many people's lives. And everybody loves seeing you succeed because there's some piece of us that we all feel a little bit broken, you know? And, and whatever it is, whatever you share, you don't share. When you heal that brokenness or you watch somebody like you heal their brokenness, you feel like you can do it yourself. And that is a gift that you give so many people. And I think that's why every time I see you on TV, I smile. Well, if I survived in this world, <laughs> I really give a tremendous credit to the friends I had and the women I know who are just trying to figure out their lives. And if there's mm -hmm. one thing I think that we need in this world, it's not to feel alone. Because I'll tell you this, when you're a kid and you don't have family around you, you look around and you come out of your room and you go, where is everybody, hello? And when you have a big family and a lot of love, you're like, I'm in my room! And you slam the door. Yes. And the metaphor is you need a lot of great people around you to want to be alone because lonely and alone are so vastly different. Mm, that is really well said. So. Lonely and alone are different. Oh, I never thought about that. Like one is tragic and one is awesome. Mm. And you make people feel less lonely and more capable of being alone. Thank you, friend. And what I really appreciate is that you're addressing social issues that you are addressing race, you are addressing you know, women's equalities, time's up. You are also really an advocate while you are finding these important things that are happening in our society and addressing them as well. Well, you know, I have a lot of inspiration from having two teenagers in my house. Um, you know, someone, I don't know, somewhere I read, if you're not talking about race, and class and wealth inequality and um, social issues with your children, they're talking about it with somebody else. And, and that hit me very profoundly because this is the world they're inheriting. And if we don't take our positions of um, influence or whatever your influence is, you know, whether you're the principal at a school or you're the, um, you know, the, the head of your book club, you have a power to influence thoughts and ideas. And that's why I love books as well, because 
books have changed my life by going absolutely nowhere. I, I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee, and I just lost myself in a book. And it, it made me see like, I felt like I could see the world. I could see other people's opinions. I could see where people lived a completely different experience than me. So I would say books are the antidote to bigotry and, and um, small thinking, you know, it's about being expansive, but I'm so, you know, I feel really, really blessed to have these kids in my life and to have all the children of the world out there, the Greta Thunbergs and the Parkland um, kids, just really inspiring us to do more and create a better world. Thank you for being someone I've known throughout my life and I want to know throughout the rest of my life. You are a great woman, a great mother and a great friend. And you're good to me and you're good to everyone else out there too. Well, I love you, Drew. Have a great show. And next time we're going to sit on the couch together and have a little, have a little tea and just spill the tea. I and cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. Thank you, Reese.